often asked, saying, okay, you know, you've done this a long time. So tell us, where do you think this relationship is going? What did you think three years ago, five years ago, ten years ago? And would you not agree with me that today, in every way, this relationship has exceeded expectations? It's an interesting uh, discovery I made that if you look at some of the recent uh, things which India, you know, we've done together. I would say today, India and the United States have moved to a position where we really see each other as very desirable, optimal partners, comfortable partners. Comfort today of the relationship. This today gives me enormous hope about where the prospects are. We just spoke about this Middle Eastern corridor. It's called IMEC, India Middle East Economic Corridor. There was an earlier, there was an earlier initiative called I2U2. This is India, Israel, United States, UN. All of you are familiar today with the term Indo-Pacific. Even when it comes to technology, we speak about ISET. So clearly, you know, the alphabet I, I think, is very good for the United States. has exceeded expectations, which is why today we don't even try to define it. We actually keep raising the bars, we keep finding new domains. I would say today India and the United States have moved to a position where we really see each other as very desirable, optimal partners, comfortable partners with whom it's a natural instinct today to pick up the phone or if you meet somewhere to have a conversation, to share your anxieties, to explore your solutions. So the chemistry and the comfort today of the relationship, this today gives me enormous hope about where the prospects are. I started at a time in the early 80s when you actually had to explain where you're from, what you're about. You know, it's good to see members of Congress here. Those were tough days, you know, they didn't even let you into the rooms in the Congress. Uh, but, and there were, at that time, there was no Indian American uh, member of Congress. But if one looks at the journey, how far we've come, 
and how deep this relationship how broad this relationship there is no department in the government today that doesn't have dealings with their indian or american counterparts in the the contribution that you know the the support and the understanding that we got from the united states to make a successful g20 i think that is something i would certainly like to recognize in public in washington dc so it may have been our success in a literal way but i think it was the g20 success to me it was also a success of the india us partnership i mentioned this to you because yes it's a great achievement i mean no question yes we have joined the special club but today in many ways the new india is an india of chandrayaan it's an india of covin it's an india of 5g this is really what we are capable of and it is this india today which the united states also sees it is this india with which the united states actually has an appetite for working uh, much more closely